the nice thing about this, it's a very logically laid out synth. It's very controllable, very powerful, extensive ins and outs, as you can already see. Virtually every parameter here is controllable through CV for the most part, except for the pulse width modulation. You know, however, you'll, you'll need some modifications to completely integrate with synthesizers that are based off volts per octave. This uses two different standards for control voltage. One, the triggers, they're not the typical triggers where it goes from zero to some higher level voltage. It's actually the triggers that are coming out of this. So keyboard triggers and whatnot. They're, they're S triggers, which means that they are kept at a steady state of five volts and then they drop down to zero volts. And that is the trigger when the uh, signal goes to zero. And if you look at these trig outs and the various outputs, you, you'll see it has a little symbol of ground, right? So you're just basically grounding out that, that connection to create the trigger, basically zeroing out the voltage at that point. So that's one main difference between the, the MS-20 and, and of course here, the Behringer K2 compared to other standard CV synthesizers and modular gear. The biggest one is, of course, when you control the uh, oscillators, they're voltage-controlled oscillators, but they're a little bit different. They're not volts per octave. They're actually hertz per volt. And it's a little confusing when you hear that the first time, but really what that means is volts per octave just means that you, you go up or down in octaves every one volt. So to go up an octave, you go up one volt. To go up another octave, you go up another volt. So two volts would effectively give you two octaves. Now the Hertz per volt standard basically means that you double the voltage to go up an octave. So you have one volt, you're at one octave. To go to the next octave, you need to have two volts. And then to go to the next octave above that, the third octave, you would have to have four volts. And then to the fourth octave, you would have to have eight volts, effectively. So what this all means from a practical perspective, though, is if you wanted to integrate this into a, you know, a traditional volts per octave based modular system or any other gear that uses volts per octave CV standard, you have to have some kind of conversion in place. They do offer converter systems, or you can build your own, which I plan on doing as well. <laughs> um, but uh, for, for the most part, everything else is, is pretty compatible with normal modular systems. Why?